29 January 27th 2017 now you get a rifle scope the first thing you gotta do before uh, attempting to zero in the scope or whatever would be to adjust this eyepiece you could turn this around and what this does is it provides you with a Uh, with the ability to have a crisp, clear uh, crosshairs uh, there. And the way to do that is not to like mount the gun on your shoulder and try turning this this way and then that way and then find the middle where it is uh, the most crisp and clear, but rather you're going to have to mount the gun on your shoulder, put your cheek on this cheek piece, close your eyes, open your eye, uh, like if you are using uh, your right eye, um, open your eye, and at that very first second, see if the uh, reticle, if the crosshair is, is crisp and clear or not. If not, then turn to the right or to the left, and uh, again, close your eyes, your eye, open your eye, check the uh, crispness and clearness of the, or the clarity of the crosshairs. After you're done with that, you could put a little mark, like I did here, to find where the uh, crosshairs is most clear and uh, uh, without any blurry images around it, without any parallel lines around it. Uh, so this would be the first thing to do. Now, after this, can you uh, like attempt to zero in the gun and everything? I, I realized that I had been doing it wrong, and I thought uh, perhaps I should uh, uh, share this uh, somehow. Something I noticed is that when I did this adjustment, I actually needed one full turn of opening this eyepiece uh, to uh, make it uh, crisp and clear. After doing this, no longer these uh, yardage numbers on uh, my objective lens uh, are really uh, an indication of how far the target is. Uh, that is, I used to have the target at 30 yards and uh, if I zoomed or if I put this uh, number against this little dot on 30 yards it would be clear but now to see 30 yards uh, clearly I have to put it on about 75 yards so at least on this particular uh, rifle scope which is a very good one a center point for two 16 by 12 adventure club or adventure class i don't remember but it's a very good one it's pretty much built like a tank uh, one about 1000 pellets out of this uh, magnum rifle and it's uh, still uh keeping the zero no creep whatsoever or ever no scope creep whatsoever so at least on this scope uh no longer can you use this not that i really did use these anyways uh, so after doing this the next step would be to uh, like try and find the spot on this objective lens uh, where your typical target at your typical range of course uh, is most clear like I'm shooting at about 30 meters now uh, and I guess that'll be it uh, or I mean that'll be like that uh, uh, pretty much always uh, I put it on 75 and I, na and I now can see from about 15 meters to about I don't know 60 70 80 meters uh, pretty clearly uh, but if I put it on like 25 yards or I don't know 30 meters then I couldn't have that clear image at 30 meters actually so now I'm pretty happy with these two adjustments I have a very clear, crisp uh, crosshair there, 
with no parallel lines with it or blurry images around it. And I have a very clear objective lens as well, which gives me a clear image at about 15 to about 60, 70 meters, which is basically where I'll be shooting at. Uh, well, not that I have reached anything farther than 40, 45 meters, but my point is it is clear enough and very clear, in fact, in the ranges that I'm shooting. So these two things I just did. I realized it's a little too much to have to uh, deal with these uh, dials on your scope while shooting. So I went back to the mill dot approach. No clicking here, no centimeters either. I just see it now why all the guys have been doing uh, holdovers, uh, mill dots basically, uh, not centimeters and not clicks. Yes, if you did have a lot of time to spend, then you could go to clicks, but in a real hunting scenario uh, in the field, uh, in the forest, you don't really have time to do clicks on those little turrets. Um, if you're lucky, if you're good, you could do deal with these uh, numbers. I'm putting uh, another version of this uh, range card as we were speaking. Uh, I changed the focus of, of my rifle scope from 10 to 16 uh, permanently. That is because uh, when you put it on 16, then there is, I mean, the mill dots uh, make more difference. In other words, like if I had to shoot at something at say 50 meters, then I would have to hold 1.5 mil dots uh, over. But now I've put it on maximum magnification for say fi the same 50 meters. Instead of having to deal with 1.5, I could do uh, 3. But my point is as the number of mill dots that has to be considered gets bigger, like instead of one, for example, mill dot, uh, now I can do, or I should do two mill dots. As this happens, the amount of uh, error uh, decreases. Uh, in other words, if I had like 0.2 mill dots of error, uh, 0.5, let's say, 0.5 mil dots of error in the past. Uh, now with the magnification of 16, uh, that could probably uh, be eliminated mostly. Um, and uh, that is because uh, the mm, distance between uh, every uh, dot on the mill dot reticle uh, is uh, an indication of uh, less of a distance in the range. Uh, so if you mess up 0.2 mill dots, instead of making a difference of, uh, say, uh, 30 meters in the range, you would make a difference of perhaps 20 meters in, in the range. Uh, and that would probably lessen the amount of uh, error. Mm. So my new uh, next uh, range card would be something much simpler. Um, I don't know, maybe just 10, 20, 30, 40, or maybe just uh, complete uh, round numbers like one, two, three, minus one, minus two uh, mil dots of holdover or hold on there rather than having to deal with uh, uh, fractions of mil dots. Also, I uh, considered the kill zone of the rifle scope uh, and the whole um, chair gun pro thing to two centimeters rather than the previous one centimeter. In other words, uh, now my rifle will be zeroed in considering a two uh, centimeter kill zone. So again, in putting while putting in um, together this uh, range card, I will um, just uh, 
omit or neglect or uh, forget about uh, any holdover or hold on there for a difference of plus or minus one centimeter from the target. Uh, uh, in other words, if uh, at a certain range and, and at a certain angle, my rifle is going to shoot, uh, say, about less than one centimeter higher or lower uh, than the target, I'll just consider zero, zero mil dots of holdover or hold under for it. And by doing so, it's going to simplify uh, a lot of stuff sacrificing not too much of uh, accuracy again in the field while hunting uh, it really is much easier to not really have to refer to this this thing for every single shot as uh, especially at shorter uh, distances again if you had time to spend uh, like on a bench rest uh, competition or something yeah then yes you would be able to dial uh, or consider fractions of mil dots but in the field you're just uh, gonna have to do your thing in that very small uh, window of opportunity which uh, having uh, round numbers of mil dots at least until further notice when I get uh, better would be a great help thank you for watching